Hello, boys and girls. It is Mr. McAndrew, the math coach. As always, very excited to be with you. Um, so, how are you doing? How did yesterday go with division? Um, we're going to take a little break from division today and talk about um, area as a way of multiplying and then later dividing. Okay? So, area is really close to arrays in the idea that you have equal, um, you have rows of equal number. Right, so in this math app I have, you've got, let's see, five rows. One, you've got one, two, three, four, five rows of five. Right, or I could make this anything I want. I could make this four rows of, let's say, seven. Cool, let me get me out of the way. So here you have, you have one, two, three, four rows. And there are seven uh, squares in each row. So with area, you're always measuring basically how much space something covers using um, squares. So we call them square units. Uh, so for example, if this was a rug, right, it would be, you could cover it with 28 square units. Okay, because you've got seven times four groups of seven makes 28. You've got seven. 14, 21, 28. Similar to the way we were hopping with the number line, right? Okay, so um, in your packet, and by the way, um, I'll share with you the work that I did from yesterday if you had any troubles with that um, at the end of the video, okay? Um, it says, Robbie the Rabbit ate all, so take out your um, math packet, and it should say Thursday word problem, and it says that Robbie the Rabbit ate all of Farmer John's carrots. He ate three rows of six carrots. How many carrots did Robbie the Rabbit eat? So, first of all, Robbie the Rabbit, not a good rat, not a nice rabbit. He should have asked Farmer John for some carrots, right? Um, okay, so we have, we have three rows, so I'm going to turn this four into a three, and there's six carrots in each row, so we're going to pretend like the, this is one row of six carrots right here, and there's another row of six carrots, and another row of six carrots. And Robbie the Rabbit ate all of them. Like, not a nice dude. Okay, so the question is, yeah, how many carrots did Robbie the Rabbit eat? Okay, so you can see here we have, we could just count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, eighteen. All right, that's a lot of work. Or we could be like, all right, well, we've got six here, plus six gives me 12, plus six more gives me 18, right? So let's actually look at your math packet. Okay, it looks like this. So, and I've given you a grid that you can draw on. So what we're gonna do is, and whatever, if you have a pencil or a marker, it's all fine. Maybe I'll use um, like a yellow one, or if I have an orange one, so that it looks more like carrot. All right, it's not orange, but it is yellow. So three rows of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's one row, okay? And then I'm gonna do another row of six. Because remember, multiplication is always equal groups. In this case, it's equal rows. My marker isn't showing up very well, is it? Let me try a different one. All right, this is darker. So we have one row of carrots, two rows of carrots, and we need three rows of carrots with six each. So we have six here, six here, and six here, right? Six in this row, six in this row, six in this row. Okay, so if we have three rows of six carrots is the same as, what do we just say? What is three times six, or three rows of six? We said it was six, 12, 18, right? Okay, so then we can say three times six equals 18. Three rows of six equals 18. Three jumps of six equals 18, right? Three equal groups of six, or three sets of six equals 18, all right? So you're getting the connection between all these ways of multiplying? 
Okay, so that's our example. What I would like you to do is this one, where right, this time Robert the Rabbit ate all of Farmer Mary's carrots. He ate four rows of five carrots. So this is three rows of six carrots. Can you please shade in four rows, so one, two, three, four, of five carrots, and figure out how many carrots did Robert the Rabbit eat. And then you would fill this in the same way that I did with the other one. You are always welcome, remember, to go back and watch the video again. You can always pause the video if you need to just look at something, all right, and um, if I'm going a little bit too fast for you. Okay, and then, so as always, right now you can pause the video and finish this word problem, or you can keep coming along with me on the video and you can do it at the end, okay? All right, so your practice will be two types of practice today. One, um, for it says for each rectangle below, find the area by multiplying the number of rows times the number of squares in each row. Okay, so for example, um, I have um, three rows here, clearly. I've got one, two, three rows, okay? And how many are in each row? So let's see, we've got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight squares in each row. So there's eight in this row, eight in this row, and eight in this row. So three rows of eight is the same as what? How many, how many squares do we have in that rectangle? What's the area of that rectangle? If there were three rows of eight carrots, how many carrots? Well, let's see, we've got eight here, plus another eight, that gives us 16, plus another eight, that gives us 24, 24. If you're not sure, you can always count them, all right? But the better you get at skip counting, right, the better you're gonna get at doing multiplication not only accurately, but more efficiently, which means um, it doesn't take you so long. You can do it, you can do it faster. Okay, so our multiplication sentence is three times eight equals 24. All right, and there's a couple more here for you to do. Okay, and then there's a few more on this page to do. And then on this page, the last two pages, okay, you have to do it the same way that I did with the word problem. It says, find the area of each problem below and shade in the correct rectangle. So I'll do one uh, with you, okay? So it says, eight rows of three squares. So eight rows. So I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows of three. So that's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And I'm not, you know, I'm not going crazy. I'm just drawing enough so I can count it up, okay? So I have eight rows, and there's three in each row. So I have, in this row, I have three. If I add three more, I get six. If I add three more, I get nine. And I get 12. And I get 15, 18, 21, 24 again. That number 24 comes up a lot, doesn't it? So three rows of eight is the same as 24, okay? So that's how I did it. Maybe you can just go three, six, nine, right? But I like to write it down. It helps me to keep track of it, okay? The less efficient way would be to be, count them each by one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That works as well, boys and girls, but I want to encourage you to start to skip count and start to remember these, um, these, what they call factors that make up the product, which is the, the answer to a multiplication sentence. All right, so you've got, uh, let's see, one here and a couple more on this page. All right, so have fun with this. Okay, this is really awesome multiplication work for building your understanding. All right, you've done a great job this week with number lines and now area. You've already been learning about sets and arrays, and you are on your way to becoming expert multipliers and dividers. All right, great job, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.